and romantic as these objects at first appear, they represent the symbol of South Africa's sovereign independence. These are the dies for the seal, on one side the king enthroned, and on the other the Union coat of arms. These unique and interesting pictures of sealing were taken by special permission of the Prime Minister of South Africa. The dies fit into a collar, and before they can be used, both collar and plunger must be heated. All documents signed by His Majesty and countersigned by the, the Union Prime Minister must bear the Royal Seal. The pages are held by a braided cord. When the dyes have been sufficiently heated, they're taken out and everything is set for the applying of the Royal Great Seal. The braided cord holding the pages of the document together is placed between the heated dyes and celluloid powder poured in. Then the heated dyes are placed under pressure and left until the seal is formed and cooled. And here is the document with the Royal Great Seal attached. It expresses the wish of the Union of South Africa and the pleasure of His Majesty the King.